Hi guys and welcome to the life of Candy. Today we're going to talk about dance. I love dance. Remember in my previous videos I told you that I love dancing. I used to love to dance on stage in school and I loved going to parties and dancing and going to clubs and dancing. I love the competition and the art of dance. So let's look at some different dances from different countries all around the world. The first dance is a travel beat fest. Let's go. So you just saw a clip from the Tribal Beat Fest. And what I like about that is the art of it. The art of dance. They're wearing certain costumes. She has the headdress and her movements to the sound. Now this one has a different type of beat. It's reminiscent of hip hop music. And I also like the smoke in the background as she dances. Okay, let's look at another um, type of dance. Now this one is a belly dance and it's with it's a called the drum solo. COVID-19 vaccines are open to any After the, the commercial. Old. Visit myspot.nc.gov. I love the way she rolls her her belly. It's really sexy. Feminine. I love the art form of dancing. So let's just take a look. Okay, you just saw a little clip of belly dancing. What do you think? Do you like the art form? It's, belly dancing is all over the world. And I, what I like about belly dancing, I, don't, I mean, just like the, the last one that we just saw, it's the rolling of the stomach. It's the movement of the arms. And it, it flows to the sound. And then they have the lighting and they have the costume. It's beautiful to watch. Let's keep going, shall we? <laughs> okay, this one is called the epic belly dance. I like that red, that red is beautiful.
Okay, that was another clip of belly dancing. And she has beautiful jewels around her body. Sometimes they even have um, jewels around their stomach. They have the bracelets on. They might wear a necklace, might not, but they don't really need it because their costume has it in the bodice area. And on the flow of the skirt, so when they dance and they twirl around, it just flows like the wind. And then you have the beautiful sounds and you have the lighting. So the whole experience is breathtaking to watch. So check out some belly dancing when you have some time. Let's keep going. Another style of dance that I enjoy watching. Let's see what I got for you. Mm -mm -mm. I have to go to my... Okay. So the next one I have... Do you got have you ever heard of Bollywood? Bollywood, I enjoy watching the stories. Check it out. But here's a clip of a dance by Bollywood. And the women are so gorgeous. So here they go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not sponsored by the way Check it out. What what happens with Bollywood, from my perspective, is it's telling a story, and in this particular one, um, the the woman is dancing. To, obviously, she's dancing, and her movements are. It flows so differently. It's hard to describe, but as you watch. And it's synchronized in her hand movement. She goes up and she twirls and she brings it down. And then the group, the group of women that's with her, they're following her and doing the same type of dance as her. And I love the jewels. I love, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. So we have a fusion of Indian culture in Trinidad. So Bollywood is something that I, I love. You, you notice that. They um they have necklaces and lots of bracelets. I love to wear bracelets as well as part of my culture. The headdress and the flow of the fabric and the different bright and vibrant colors. And it tells a story. And then you see the men in the street. If you watch the flow of a Bollywood film, I, I definitely, which I definitely recommend, I think you will love it and you'll enjoy it. Okay, I have to check to see if it was still going. And she's so gorgeous, isn't she? <laughs> okay, the next one I have. Let's go to Trinidad. Since we just left Bollywood, let's go to Trinidad, shall we? Okay, so we're going to start off with this clip.
And that's Cass. Carnival is always a good time and I enjoy watching. I enjoy going to the Eastern Parkway in Brooklyn. And I one day I hope to go to Trinidad and go to Carnival again. I used to go when I was younger, my mom told me. And I used to go with my mom, I used to go with my grandmothers. So I, I can't wait to go back as an adult. Okay, so you just watched the other clip of Carnival. What do you think? You enjoyed? I hope you enjoyed. Did you dance? I hope you danced. I hope you got down. I mean, I hope it was fun for you. And and when you stop watching, when this video is over and you're, you're bored and you're looking for something to do, go look up Calypso, go look up Soca. That's some beautiful music. It comes from the island of Trinidad and there's other islands fused in there as well. And just do a search for Soca music. I think it's something that you'll actually enjoy and you'll love and the, it's it's up tempo and it's happy and it's fun and it's vibrant type of music. So if you have an anxiety, you have any depression, mental health, do something fun. Okay. All right. So the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a clip of Marshall, Marshall Montano in Trinidad, in actually in Japan. <laughs> so here we go. Commercials. Oh, the waterfall. I'm looking at a waterfall. I'm not going to insert it in the clip, but it's beautiful. Let's keep going with dance. By the way, waterfalls are tranquil to me. I'm going to do another video, most likely after this one, and I'm going to just show you different beautiful sights and scenes that I enjoy watching when I'm just relaxing and I need something to do. Okay, so let's continue. The next thing, we're going to go to Afrobeats. Do you like Afrobeats? I enjoy Afrobeats. I enjoy dance. I'm hoping that one day when I renew my vows, I can do an Afrobeat wedding. So let's go.
<laughs> Don't it make you feel like doing it with them? You want to just get up and dance, right? I always like to watch this because it ke keeps me in a good mood. If you're having a bad day, just put on some music and just dance. Everybody likes to dance, all races. It doesn't matter if you're South Asian, you're Black, you're White, you're A, um, you're Indian, South Asian, you're Asian, you're Polish, <laughs> you're Spanish. Let's go. Let's continue. So the next one is more Afrobeats, male or female, it doesn't matter. Check out this clip. I love, I think his name is Petite Afro. I enjoy his um, videos. I've been watching him for a very long time and I'm happy to see that he's doing workshops now. So let's go. And the little kids! Check out the movement. <laughs> I would kick my foot, but then I'll probably fall. <laughs> Okay, next we're gonna go into marching bands and step. So let's go. We'll start with the women. Keep cooling bacteria for 24 hours. Touch after touch. Microband. Commercial, commercial. More commercials. Yeah, I love their hats and I love the black and the, the white shirts with the black and then they got the heels on yes bring back femininity right <laughs> the woman again. This one is Delta Cat. I think it was from Southern University. Don't worry, I'll insert the name of them under the video so you guys can see. Sorry guys. I like that little. Yeah. <laughs> and they go like this. <laughs> It's good to um, dance and have fun and step, and it's even better when you have sisters to do it with. I'm all for, and, and pardon my voice, I'm a little horse. <laughs> okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is men. 
Let's look at, they call this the stroll. It's really nice. I think they were very intentional in the backdrop. Take a look at it. So beautiful. I enjoy a good setting. Oh, they got the carriage basket. Oh my gosh. I like their outfit. Oh, and they got the, the trolley. <laughs> wow. They like that. Wow, okay. Ooh. That's gonna be censored. <laughs> Hopefully, I get a sense of properly. Okay, so the next one is another fraternity. The Alpha of Kappa. I'm going to put the description in the box. So let's go. Check out the suit. Yeah. Now, this is masculinity. They got their nice suits on. That their, their shoes. There's nothing like a guy, a well dressed man in a suit. And then he knows how to move, right? They're like. <laughs> flow it to a little clip of um this was on cctv it's like synchronized movements with the hands i used to watch this when i was a kid i love watching this the art form is so amazing Slowly move their hands. And then there's a whole bunch of them moving. <laughs> She's like, wow. I love that. It's beautiful. And the yellow. It's like a perfect clock, like a circle, right? <laughs> okay thousand hand i will not attempt to say that word but i'll put it down and <laughs> look how in the little over here somewhere okay so the next about to get into some grown folks dancing this one is called the so cold so cold Line dance. So let me dust my shoulders off before I start this. Let's go. More commercials. I'm trying to get to the point. Let's go. So smooth. My 
My nose is itching. <laughs> She has her hands. She's just like. They definitely can move. Let's look at another couple. This is love, guys. The older folks always say, I could cut a rug. <laughs> well, here you go. They cutting up the dance floor. See, the, old, the younger generation don't know how to do that anymore. So I got to bring it back. Dance is in different forms. All right. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I'm going to do a little clip of this one. Detroit style. Yeah. Yeah. It's something about the older generation. They all can move. <laughs> We could learn a lot if we just keep, you know, paying attention. And by the way, if you're part of the older generation, make sure you teach your kids how to dance, how to cut a rug. <laughs> get into we're going to Dublin let's go to Dublin Dublin is doing a little faster dancing James Bond wants to make an appearance <laughs> look at how she moves so fast it's like the quick stuff yeah Hi guys, I'm back. I'm sorry the video cut off.
Then let's get into the next one. We just left off in Afrobeat, so let's go to What's tap that? dancing. What do you mean? But well, you're walking back and forth here. You're shaking your head. You're laughing. What's the problem? Now, I like Gregory Hines. I ain't got no problem. You the one with the sloppy left side. Oh, and there's one more thing. I think his name is Cyborg Lover. Oh, but there ain't no sense of getting into. I yeah. mean, since you only exercise. No, 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 please. What? What? Well, Max, you got no form. <laughs> one second. Yeah, I got no form. Listen, listen, Mo. Now, I know you guys were good in your day. We're going to have to make a part two of this. No I don't think I'll get There's no reason. Not. So, we're going to start off with Gregory Hines' solo tap. Now, mm -hmm. followed by Gregory You think we ain't got Hines no legs? Mick Hale. Is that what you're saying? I don't know how to say, say his man. last name, but he's in, a very good here. tap dancer as well. You know what this young man and said? Go into we ain't got no legs. Savion. I said Savion. Savion. You ain't got no legs. You ain't got and no legs. And then we're going to go ain't got no legs. Into now, what does that sound like Jeff to you? Allen a challenge. And Gregory. Now, I didn't challenge Ooh, nobody. Oh, yes, you did. Challenge! So, let's go. Challenge! 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 Chall